use the top to that stump and a little torch. So it was Ford Crawler in his prime. That's more like it. Ah, poor Helmet Fulbear. I guess I'll never get to see his face. Here's Lily's great uncle, Bob. Man, that beard must have taken forever to carve. Compton Bull, grandfather of my friend Dogen. I wonder if he's any better with animals. I hope I get to meet Cassiopeia someday. I have some questions about her book. Otto Mint. Right. There were seven stumps at camp. Lucretia Mux. Huh. Wonder why she's not included in the Psychic Six. I mean, I guess because that would make it the Psychic Seven. But still, she must have been important, or Ford wouldn't have carved her. There's a note to Ford in here. Looks like it's from Otto Mentalis, Cruller. I think it's time we add a third psychic to our research team. Her name is Lucretia Mux. She's hoping to get out of Gulovia, where her husband was just killed in the war. I know you have concerns about hydraulic mining, Ford, but with Lucretia's powerful hydrokinesis, we could wash the Cytanian out of these caves in no time. I feel like the two of us have been digging Ooh, this is worse than I thought. Well, I seem to remember the inside of your mind wasn't so neat and tidy either. Agent Cruller, I'm here to help. I want to... Unshatter your mind. Nah, don't bother. I've tried for years. Whoever dropped the kablooey on this mine really didn't want to put back together again. And to tell you the truth, there were some parts of this old brain that weren't doing me much good anyway. Who needs to think about the past all the time, eh? Some memories are best left alone. Now let's get out of here before that bacon gets cold. But Ford! <laughs> Now, I'm not saying it will be easy, but let's just go see Truman, and I'm sure he'll... Agent Crawler? Ford? Oh, man. I need to find him before I report back to Truman. What was that work he said he had to do? Something about mail? And hair? And shoes? Psy cards yeah. piling up. Turn them into side to challenge server. markers with a Psy core from the Autolatic. Uh, new guy.
die in the salon. Wow. Here they are. The Psychic Six. The group of paranormal experts Ford Crower gathered together to form the Psychonauts. I read all about them in True Psychic Tales, number one. Tragically, none of them were the same after fighting Maligula in the deluge of Grulovia. Less tragically, but still upsetting, my mom used that issue of True Psychic Tales to line the floor of the world's smallest horse trail. I need a change. Just a haircut. Be a rank riser, not card miser. Sorry, looked up all day. I can wait. You sure a shampoo can, but unless I get a cancellation, you're out of luck. That's one Agent Cruller located. Need to find the other two before I regroup with Agents in Autumn. Brand new mental connection pins available. me, Raz. Permission to enter? Negative. Senior staff only. Ford, it's me. And who are you? <sighs> Don't you realize who I am? Wait. If Nick John Smith is mentoring interns, he must be senior staff, right? I'm telling my dad. I should talk to him. Special. Truman. I should make sure Nick can help me get into Ford's office. Oh no! Mr. John Smith! Hang on, Nick. I'll get hang on, Nick. I'll get you out of there. Somehow. There, now. There you go, Nick. Now stay away from these machines. Hey, Nick, you're senior staff, right? Pony? Can you help me get into the back room? I need to talk to Agent Crawler. Flat rate. Look, Nick, I have a wild idea. Bear with me. If I get you a loner brain of equal or greater value to your own, then you help me get into the back room. Plus, I'll bet the loner brain will keep you safe from all this machinery. First class. I'm going to take that as a yes. Now, where can I find a brain? Two forts down. Only one more to find before I can go back to Truman.
Agent Cruller. I need to talk to you. Sorry, Senior League hours. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much left of the Senior League, except for Compton Bull? No kidding. Huh. Under office number, it just says psycho isolation. Why would his office be in psycho isolation? Guess I need to get out there to find out. That's the final Ford. Time to debrief Truman. I think I'm gonna need his help. Improve your networking skills with our new mental connection pins. Another thing for me to clean up. Astro Plains is now open for league play. Bowling League members only, please. Where's Crowler? I got him to the base, but now he's locked in the bowling alley, and also the mailroom, and the hair salon. Hmm, sounds like he's reverting to some old behavior. He's no good to us like that. I think I could help him, if I could just get closer to him. But to get closer, I need to do some stuff outside the base. Hmm. Put your head near this brain... uh... thing. I should be able to... There! Full access. That should let you search the whole place, inside and out. Okay. I'll try to get Ford and bring him back here. No, Raz. You're going to find Ford Cruller, and you're going to fix him. You're going to make Ford Cruller whole again. This is just another mind in torment, Raz. It needs a Psychonaut to fix it. And I believe in you, Raz. I know. You're ready for this. Yes, sir, Agent Zanato. I won't let you down. I'll put Ford back together again. Godspeed, Psychonaut. like my nephew. A little jerk. Psycar! chest is full of titanium, but my side pouch isn't big enough to hold it. I should get a bigger pouch at the automatic. Excuse me, Ford? Sorry, with a client right now. Obviously. Think you'll be done with that haircut soon? Please, you can't rush an artist. I 
see a big missing chunk on this side. What's that? Not to fear. Only temporary. All part of the process. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your hair. Huh? What? Are you still here? Excuse me, Ford? Sorry, with a client. Would you mind if I jumped into your mind for a second? Just to even out some split ends. If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. Shaggy. Well, not to worry. A fresh cut and you'll feel like a whole new person. Just make sure you cut away the right parts or your old friends will recognize you. I'm here to recover a piece of Ford's mind. And something tells me it's up in that lighthouse. It's undesirables. Yeah, this is really lousy. Oh, hey! I finally get that word. Oh. 
flammable bugs on your head? I hate these things. I wish I could just blow them away. seem to come back. This is their home. You're just... trunk tag.
least I know how to deal with them now. <clears throat> Sorry, insects, but you're in my way. What have you done? Uh, cleaned up the streets? Those were peaceful protesters, Lucy. Lucy? That's a little bit too close, okay? to Grulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. I feel like a completely different person. Got one piece of Ford's mind connected. Now for the other two. But when doing the right thing, the Agent Zanotto is right. We'll need Ford at full capacity if we're gonna have a chance against Maligula. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Scanning access granted. Fourth, it's 
me, Raz, from Whispering Rock. I need to come in there and talk to you. Sorry, senior staff only. What? Really? Senior staff? Fine. I'll get Nick. He's senior staff. Oh, no. Not again. Ugh. There you go. I'm working on finding you a brain to keep you out of trouble. Snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom. I'm working on finding you a brain to keep you out of trouble. Snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom. Mm. I'm working on finding you a brain to keep you out of trouble. Snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom. Available to interns. Rasputin? So about... Maligula? She's dead, Rasputin. Ford Cruller made sure of that. Nothing for you to worry about. I'll let you get back to the interior. Don't be too hard on yourself, kid. It's a mess in there. Turn credits. There's Bob Zanotto. Pioneer in human plant telepathy. And he's Lily's great uncle. Can you tell me where the psycho-isolation chambers are? You messed up, Rasputin, but there's no need to place yourself in psycho-isolation. But also, interns aren't allowed into the quarry right now for security reasons. Sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. I always have time for my interns, Aquato. Now get out of my sight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rasputin Avocado, Standing. you Access. have multiple Rated. visitors waiting. Scanning for thinker print. Full access granted. Welcome, Grand Head Sonato. I love these things. Got it. This is a great historical exhibit. I know, I know. I mean, that's what people are saying. You see something new every time you look. There's Bob Zanotto. Helmet Fulbin. That's Cassie. She claimed to have independent control of every cell in her brain, controlling them like a swarm of bees. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Astral Lanes is now open for league play. Bowling League members only, please. Hi. Huh? Hi. Huh? skills with our new mental connection pins. Brand new mental connection pins available. Idea. Let's make a side challenge marker and get you ranked up. Whenever you need more gear, the automatic will be here. Improve your networking skills with our new mental connection pins. Rasputin Delgado, please report to the front desk. You have a visitor. Is this a bad time, Mia? 
I always have time for my kitty genius. Well, I'll stop bothering you now. Never a b- Thinkerprint. Dad? Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of course. You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I'd been acting like a fool, I know that now. But your mother... I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all. Like us. Psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So, I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son, the whole family is here! Oh, no. been practicing your acrobatics? Uh. 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 He's definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aguatos! Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts! Great! Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. 
Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. What did you say? If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Whenever he's ready, he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> no, nope, no moles over here. Just goats. Finally! I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Four years. Wow, that's a lot. Why don't you just try it for a little bit and we go from there? Try what now? Psycho-isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Squirrels? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> So anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a Senior League membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good.
Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh no. W with what? I need a Senior League membership card. What? W w well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off! Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Fool. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Hi! Scanning for thinker print. Access. Granted. Ow! Oops! Sorry, little brother. I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, Frazy! It's pretty advanced up here. Not for little kids. I came out here looking for something. <laughs> what was it? Oh, right. A brain for Nick. So I can get into C4 and to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. Yep. Got a side card. <laughs> Crazy? You up here? I'm telling Mom you threw a rock at me. It was a pine cone, you baby. Ow! That was a rock. I'm warning you.
Looks like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that if you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? <sighs> Ow! More where that came from. I think the entrance to the forgetful forest is somewhere here in the questionable area. Oh, Fur Lancelot, thank you. Are those the acorns I asked for? Yes? No. No, they can't be, can they? No, because I asked for acorns that were crushed, didn't I? Didn't I, Fur Lancelot? I hate to yell at you, Fur Lancelot, but I... I... I am the crushed one. It crushes my heart to see you not doing your best. Understand? Now, do I need to show you how to crush things? No? You sure? Okay. Good boy. Now, try again. But this time, think about personal commitment and delivering excellence every day. All right? Sorry you had to see that, Raz. Shoot! Hmm, there's a narrow slot that I don't think I can fit through. Hey, Sam. Talk fast, cakes are cooking. Can I ask you about your family? Why, because my last name is Bool, and because that's a famous family in the Psy community, and you want to network with me to further your Psy career? Go for it. I'm a friend of your brother's. Hmm. Your head looks remarkably unexploded. Must be the helmet. What can you tell me about Compton? Gramps is nice and all, but honestly, he's a little weird. No, still too tough. Your brother Dogen really made someone's head explode? No, never. Wait, you mean someone who didn't deserve it? No. I mean, like, anybody. Look, nobody's nerfect. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, I'll stop asking about your family. The bull's got nothing to hide, unlike some of these squirrels. Relax, I'm talking about your nuts. You guys still hide nuts, right? You guys learn to laugh a little, okay? You'll live longer. I gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> yes, it is funny every time. I'll take that card. No, you can't lick the beaters. I mixed the batter. Guess my family has chosen where to set up the Aquato Dome. Whoa. You don't usually see this in the physical world. 
What a strange place. Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB, spinning records for all you interns, out turns, his turns, her turns, and their turns. She's worried sick about you. Your family's not over there, Rasky. They're in the campgrounds. This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. Oh. It's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. <laughs> no, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't give badges for. 
Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. These woods sure are disorienting. Wait a second. What am I doing out here again? Wonder what's back here. trip to see an old friend. Swipe? Ooh, I got three. Even better. Not so fast. Lizzie? I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior week pass. Hard lying around. Any more titanium right now? Go check on Nona, jerk. Every day with her could be our last.
I forgive you. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh... What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? The one glowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it. Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes. I told you. We. Oui. Are acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys? Why not a little of both? Pops? Oh, cretin. You guys! Oh, shush. This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no use. We need the aquatodome. <laughs> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Pooty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. If there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anyway. Hi! 
Agent Bull, I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah, I said one. I only needed one B. Shoo, shoo, get out of here. I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no, don't all talk at once, please. I can't take it. I can't. It's too much. Too much. Oh no, don't explode. And don't explode me. Agent Bull? Ah! Never mind. Agent Bull? Ah! Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah! Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah! Great! Out of my way, bees! No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Court is in session. Please remain standing. If you're able. Touch a judge's gavel! But this, it's time for Ram it, it Down! down. <laughs> Good Eve, and welcome to Ram It Down. I'm your host, Tin Can Zanotto, and tonight, We'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Impossible! He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish, a tragic delicacy from a troubled nation, a Grulovian drowned egg. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Oh, me! Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Stopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two. Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the Mystery Box. What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? 
partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? The egg. Oh, it's happening! <laughs> we got you! Yeah! I feel good about it. You think I could have ended up a stupid chicken? Careful, that steam is hot. Help those goggles right off you. Don't just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other ingredients to prepare. I think I hear some emotional baggage now. Ha! Ah, here's the hat box tag. Oop, got the first tag. Quiet. You won't be sorry. Let's see if he makes the cut. I could organize her if I were in the slicer. I think I hear some. This chef is going to go the distance. Let's see what he does while that egg is boiling. Ooh, He's boiled the egg. We make a great team. Let's see if he can get it to the plate. Ingredients. I'm ready for the knife. Okay, he's placed the ingredients. Slice Will he be up, able I to pull you. back the pork chopper's action hoof? That button, the chopping begins. <laughs> the chopping process has begun. Ah, that a perfectly chopped onion. I feel like this is the real me. Let's plate that ingredient, shall <laughs> He's a 
assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation. Did we make it? I... I... Well, eight, here eight, we eight, are, eight, at the eight, moment eight, of truth. Eight, eight, Will eight, we be looking eight, at a drowned eight, egg, eight, or eight, a drowned eight, contestant? Eight, 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 eight. Reveal! The meal! So, what we did was, we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment to create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, compelling. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, surprisingly acceptable. And that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! Congratulations! You did it! How does it feel? Um, well... Fantastic! Well, get ready, because it's time for your next dish! Right after this commercial message. So before I push that button and start the next dish, let's take a breather, okay? Good idea. I wonder what my mystery prize is. I should go get it. 